Hi everyone, today we're going to study exponential functions. Let us first define exponential function. The equation f of x equals b raised to x defines an exponential function for each different constant b called the base. There is a restriction that the base must be greater than 0, it means b must be positive. Also, b should not be equal to 1. The independent variable x can assume any real value. It means to say, for an exponential function, we expect a variable, which is x, as an exponent. Example 1, f of x equals 2 raised to x. In here, the base is 2 and the exponent is x. Here is a quick look of how the graph of f of x equals 2 raised to x looks like. Another example is f of x equals 1 over 2 raised to x. In this example, the base is 1 half and again, the exponent is x. Here is a quick look on how the graph looks like. There is a note that the domain of the function is the set of all real numbers r and this is the interval notation negative infinity to positive infinity and the range of f is the set of all positive real numbers and this is the interval notation from 0 to infinity take note we are using the parentheses for the zero, and zero is not part of the solution. Let's go now to the graphs of exponential functions. Here are the respective graphs of our example a while ago. The y equals 2 raised to x, and the y equals 1 half raised to x. Let us study the properties of the graphs of exponential functions, and this is the first one. All graphs pass through the point 0, 1. This is the point 0, 1. Number two property, all graphs are continuous with no holes or jumps. Property number 3, the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. Asymptote is a line that the graph is approaching but never intersect. If you notice the graph, it is approaching the x-axis but it will never intersect the x-axis. Property number 4. If b is greater than 1, then the function b raised to x increases as x increases. This is an example of a graph with b or the base is greater than 1. Property number 5. If b is between 0 and 1, then the function b raised to x decreases as x increases. This is an example of a graph for property number 5. Number 6 property, the function f is 1 to 1.
Hi everyone, today we're going to study graphing exponential function of the form f of x equals b raised to x. Here are the four general steps. Step 1, create a table of points. Step 2, plot at least three points from the table including the y-intercept, which is 0, 1. Step 3. Draw a smooth curve through the points. Step 4. State the domain, that is, from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range, and the range is from 0 to infinity. And the horizontal asymptote. The equation of the line is y equals 0. Let us see this example. Sketch the graph of f of x equals 0 0.25 raised to x. State the domain, range, and asymptote. Let us write the problem down here. Let us go now to step 1. That is, to create a table of points. Here is our table. For the x values, we put 0 here and 1, 2, and 3 on the right of 0, while negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 on the left side of 0. So we have here 7 values for x. Use calculator now to find the respective value of f of x. When x is 0, f of x is 1. When x is negative 3, f of x becomes 64. When x is negative 2, f of x is 16. When x is negative 1, f of x is 4. When x is 1, f of x is 0 0.25. When x is 2, f of x becomes 0 0.06. When x is 3, f of x is 0 0.02. For steps 2 and 3, plot at least 3 points from the table, including the y-intercept 0, 1. Draw a smooth curve through the points. Here now is our graph. We plotted three points, including the 0, 1, this point, negative 1, 4, and another point, 1, 0 0.25. This is now our smooth curve. Step 4, let us state the domain, the range, and the asymptote. The domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range from 0 to positive infinity. An asymptote is that horizontal line y equals 0. This is now the final answer. Hi everyone, today we're going to study shifts of the function f of x equals b raised to x. In some books it is written, shifts of the parent function f of x equals b raised to x. For any constants c and d, the function f of x equals b raised to the sum x plus c, then plus d. Ships the parent function f of x equals b raised to x. Vertically, d units, 
in the same direction of the sine of d. It means if d is positive, it shifts up, while if d is negative, it shifts down. Horizontally, see units in the opposite direction of the sine of C. It means if C is negative, it shifts to the right, while if C is positive, it shifts to the left. The y intercept becomes this coordinates 0, comma, b raised to c plus d. The horizontal asymptote becomes y equals d. The range becomes this open interval d, comma, positive infinity. While the domain that is from negative infinity to positive infinity remains unchanged. Let us see this example. Graph f of x equals 2 raised to the power x plus 1, then minus 3. State the domain, range, and asymptote. Our problem here is an exponential equation of the form f of x equals b raised to the power x plus c, then plus d. And we can see that the b is equal to 2. The c equals 1 and the d equals negative 3. We will draw the horizontal asymptote y equals d. So it means this is y equals negative 3. And then we will identify the shift as negative c comma d. So the shift is negative 1 comma negative 3. So we will shift the graph of f of x equals 2 raised to x to the left 1 unit and down 3 units. This is now our beautiful graph. By the way, this red broken line is the horizontal asymptote. That is the y equals negative 3. Our y intercept now becomes 0, negative 1. It comes from our quick formula 0, comma, b raised to c plus d. We have here two more points of the graph 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 2. The domain is from negative infinity. To positive infinity. The range negative 3 comma positive infinity. And the horizontal asymptote that is the y equals negative 3. This is now the final answer. Hi everyone, today we're going to study stretches and compressions of the function f of x equals b raised to x. In some books, you will see the topic stretches and compressions of the parent function f of x equals b raised to x. For any factor a, greater than 0. So here, a is positive. The function f of x equals a times b raised to x is stretched vertically 
by a factor of a if the absolute value of a is greater than 1 is compressed vertically by a factor of a if the absolute value of a is less than 1 has a y intercept of 0 comma a has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 a range of from 0 to positive infinity a domain of from negative infinity to positive infinity which are unchanged from the parent function let us see this example we sketch a graph of f of x equals 4 times 1 half raised to x state the domain range and asymptote our first step is to create a table of points for the graph Using our calculator, we have now this table. Step 2. Identify the behavior of the graph. Since b equals 1 half is between 0 and 1, the left tail of the graph will increase without bound as x decreases and the right tail will approach the x-axis as x increases. Since a equals 4, the graph of f of x equals 4 times 1 half raised to x will be stretched by a factor of 4. Now step 3, plot the y-intercept 0, 4, along with two other points. We can use the points negative 1, 8, and 1, positive 2. Then draw a smooth curve connecting the points. This graph now in blue is our graph. Step 4, our domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range from 0 to positive infinity. And the horizontal asymptote y equals 0. This is now the final answer. Hi everyone, today we're going to study reflections of the parent function f of x equals b raised to x. The function f of x equals negative b raised to x reflects the parent function f of x equals b raised to x about the x axis. This function has a y-intercept of 0, negative 1. It has a range of from negative infinity, comma, 0. It has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. It has a domain of negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, which are unchanged from the parent function. We have an example here. There is this parent function f of x equals 2 raised to x. This graph in blue. Another function is g of x equals negative 2 raised to x. This is now the graph which is in red. This is the reflection of the parent function about the x-axis.
Now, the function f of x equals b raised to negative x reflects the parent function f of x equals b raised to x about the y-axis. It has a y-intercept of 0, 1. It has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. It has a range of from 0, comma, positive infinity. It has a domain of negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, which are unchanged from the parent function. Here is the example. We have the function f of x equals 2 raised to x. This is the parent function. Now, another function h of x equals 2 raised to negative x. This is now the function and a reflection of the parent function about the y-axis. In this video, we are going to study properties of exponential functions. Let A and B be positives where A is not equal to 1 and B also not equal to 1 and X and Y are real numbers. The first property is about exponent loss. Here are six examples of our exponent loss. Property number one, when we have a raised to x times a raised to y equals a raised to the sum of x and y. Exponent law number two, a raised to x over a raised to y equals a raised to the difference x minus y. Law number 3, AB raised to X is equal to A raised to X times B raised to X. Law number 4, when we have a quotient and this is raised to X, this is equal to A raised to X over B raised to X. Law number 5, A raised to X and the quantity is raised to y. This is equal to a raised to the product of xy. Law number 6, a raised to 0 equals 1. Property number 2 is a raised to x equals a raised to y if and only if x equals y. There is a restriction that A is not equal to 1. Property number 3, A raised to X equals B raised to X if and only if A equals B. There is a restriction that X is not equal to 0. Let's go now to sample problems. Example 1. Simplify using loss of exponents and write answers using positive exponents only. We have two problems here, A, B. Letter A is 2 raised to 5x minus 1 times 2 raised to 3 minus 2x. So we have here multiplication of exponents with same base. So what we'll do is simply add the exponents. So we have 2 raised to 5x minus 1 plus the other exponent is 3 minus 2x. So we can directly remove the grouping symbol and add corresponding terms. So the 5x 
and the negative 2x we will combine together it will be 3x the negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2 so our final answer is 2 raised to 3x plus 2 for letter B we have division of exponents with the same base which is E so we will subtract the exponents so we have e raised to 4 minus 3x then minus the exponent of the denominator 2 minus 5x in the next step we will remove the grouping symbol in the first group we can directly remove the grouping symbol but for the second group we need to change first the sign of the terms inside this grouping symbol so we have now e raised to 4 minus 3x minus 2 plus 5x and from here we can combine similar terms the 4 and the negative 2 we can combine together it becomes 2 and the negative 3x plus 5x is positive 2x so our final answer is e raised to 2 plus 2x let's go to example 2 solve for x we have two problems here a b let's begin with a 4 raised to 5x plus 1 equals 16 raised to 2x minus 1 First, let us check if the bases can be made equal. We can see here in the left side the base is 4, on the right side the base is 16. And we know that this 16 can be rewritten as 4 squared. So it will be like this now. The 16 becomes 4 squared. And the power 2 here we can multiply with our exponent outside so the 2 times 2x becomes 4x 2 times negative 1 becomes negative 2 on this line we can see that the bases are now equal and according to property number 2 a raised to x equals a raised to y if and only if x equals y it means to say we can copy the exponents 5x plus 1 in here and equate that with the exponent of the right side 4x minus 2 and from here we will solve for x the 4x on the right side we will transpose on the left of course the sign must be changed also this plus 1 we will transpose on the right side the sign will be changed so we have now 5x minus 4x equals the negative 2 and minus 1 to simplify further the 5x minus 4x becomes x and this is equal to negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 let's go to problem b the quantity 2x minus 1 is raised to 5 equals negative 32 i know that this negative 32 can be written as negative 2 raised to power 5 and if i do this i can observe that the exponent here which is 5 and the exponent here which is now 5 are now equal so according to property number 3 a raised to x equals b raised to x if and only if a equals b it means to say we can now copy the bases of the left side and the right side respectively thus 2x minus 1 is now copied here is equal to the negative 2 
And from here, we're going to solve 4x. The negative 1, we will transpose on the right side. It becomes plus 1. And then, we will simplify further. The negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. We will divide this equation by the coefficient of x, which is 2. So we have now 2x over 2 equals negative 1 over 2. And we will cancel the coefficient of x and the divisor 2. So only x comes down and this is equal to negative 1 over 2. This is our final answer. Today, we're going to study natural exponential function. Let us define exponential function with base e. For a real number x, the equation f of x equals e raised to x defines the exponential function with base e. In mathematics, this letter E has a numerical value equal to 2.71828 and so on. And this function here is called natural exponential function. Let us take a quick look of the graph of this f of x equals e raised to x, but in here it is written y equals e raised to x. And they have the same meaning. Now, let us learn how to graph natural exponential function. Step 1, fill in table of values with substantial number of pairs. It means we can have the table of values that looks like this. We have two columns. The first column is for the x. We have five blanks here that we can write the values 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and negative 2. The second column is for the f of x. And this means we have f of 2 corresponding to the value of x, that is 2, and f of 1 corresponding to the value of x, which is 1, f of 0 corresponding to the value of x, which is 0, f of negative 1 corresponding to the value of x, which is negative 1, and f of negative 2 that corresponds to the value of x as negative 2. And then, step 2, plot the points and connect them with a smooth curve. Let us have an example. Graph the function f of x equals e raised to x. Our step 1 is to fill in table of values with substantial number of pairs. So we have the x with these five values. We have the f of x. We have the corresponding f of 2, f of 1, f of 0, f of negative 1, f of negative 2, respectively. So given our function here as e raised to x, we will copy it here. It means to say, when we evaluate f of 2, we will have e squared. For f of 1, we will have e raised to 1. f of 0 equals e raised to 0. f of negative 1 equals e raised to negative 1. 
and f of negative 2 equals e raised to negative 2. Using our calculator, we will have the values e square equals 7.39, e raised to 1 equals 2.72, e raised to 0 equals 1, e raised to negative 1 is 0 0.37, E raised to negative 2 equals 0 0.14. Let us write another column and put the ordered pairs x, y. So we have 2, 7.39. Second point is 1, 2.72. Third point, the 0, 1. Fourth is negative 1, comma, 0 0.37. Last point is negative 2, comma, 0 0.14. And then step 2, let us plot the points and connect them with a smooth curve. This is now the curve. Look at our first point. 2,7.39 it is here the 1,2.72 is here the point 0, 0,1 is here the point negative 1,0.37 is here and the point negative 2,0.14 is here and we can see the smooth curve. And this is our final answer. Let us see here the comparison of the graph of f of x equals e raised to x. And the graph is that color blue. The graph f of x equals 2 raised to x is this graph in red. And the graph f of x equals 3 raised to x is the graph in color green. Take note that all these graphs have domain negative infinity, comma, positive infinity. And the range is open parenthesis 0, comma, infinity. Take note, the graph of natural exponential function follows the properties of the graph of exponential function. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.